What you chopping up there, baby? Mm hmm? Mm -hmm. Chopping up my garlic? What you want me to get to eat tonight? What? You want pork? Good job, baby. Oh, yeah, it's gonna go nice in my garlic mashed potatoes. That's what you get for sticking your tongue out at me. for a little walk i'm shooting on the iphone 12 mini 4k 30 frames but i've got that hdr shoots in like dolby dolby vision i tried it when i first got this phone but i tell you what my experience was was that if you tried to use this thing and while you're walking and talking the stabilization went to crap stabilization on this little phone is great unless you turn on an H HDR mode and I guess it just takes so much processing power it has to split it I don't know I don't work at Apple hello that's just what I'm speculating so I never use the HDR it just took away from the, the stabilization made it shaky like choppy but today I'm shooting HDR why because i got this thing on that gimbal uh it's a ho-hum something gimbal that my buddy eric loaned to me shout out to you buddy hope y'all are doing well over in mexico wish i was there on the beach with you but right now i'm still here at angeles city so anyhow eric told me he tried to use this gimbal and I'm not a big fan of gimbals because it's just one more step, one more obstacle between you and the record button. Just one more reason why you can't start filming. No, thank you, buddy. But I'm trying it out because what I want to do, I want to see if the HDR looks smooth if I put it on a gimbal. And that's what I'm doing. I don't know if I can even tell, really tell the difference. I mean, the colors seem to pop a little bit more. I don't think 99% of us really can tell the difference. You know, you got that new iPhone 13, shoots in ProRes. I don't want to get too technical because most of y'all don't care. <laughs> but I do have people who ask me, somebody asked me what iPhone you should go with. If you, if you get an iPhone 12 or newer, you can shoot YouTube videos. Most of my videos over the past what year has been shot on this little iPhone 12 mini handheld. Stabilization is fine. For, an, for a phone, it does real well. But if I had the money, I would get a 13 Pro Max. Um, and just go with the latest and greatest because it's going to do you well for another couple years Avalon Resort Hotel let me just pause right here and see how this thing does when I spin around alright I'll go this way anyhow if you got the money iPhone 13 Pro Max with one terabyte just go all in why? the latest and the greatest on the camera system and you can also edit video on the damn thing look at this nice little fixer upper right here oh that's beautiful right there just put a roof on it and you'll be in business you know what i think i'm gonna change direction head this way so there you go what iphone should you get if you want to run youtube 
anything from an iPhone 12 mini to a 13 Pro Max, whatever's in your budget. Get the most storage space you can because if you shoot 4K, obviously it's going to take up a lot of space. And if you want to edit on the phone, you're going to need more space. So there you go. You could probably get away with an 11, but if I have to recommend, stay with 12 or above. If you got the money, 13 Pro Max, one terabyte, or wait for the 14. I guess it should probably come out in six months, seven months. I've been tempted to get the 13 Pro Max. No, but uh, just haven't pulled the trigger on it. I was actually gonna pull the trigger one day. I went up there one day to the SM and they had them in the one terabyte. Thought about it, finally made the decision to pull the trigger. Went back, they didn't have the one terabyte. So I didn't go with it. A little construction going on here. Hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Gentleman here doing some construction, a little welding. I did look on Lazada, an Apple flagship store or whatever it is, retailer, whichever. It has a that one the other day. I was tempted again to pull the trigger. Because the thing for me, gentleman doing construction right there. So the, the thing for me too, wife number two is chomping at the bit to get her hands on this little 12 mini with the pink case. So as soon as I upgrade the camera, then she gets a new phone too. And that'll leave the iPhone 8 from a girlfriend. She thinks she's gonna give that to her sister, but that ain't happening. Well, nice and quiet back here on this side street. House and lot for sale, 360 square meters. Seems to be doing pretty good. This little gimbal. But I won't know until I get back and put it on the iPad. See how it looks on a bigger screen. There's a house and lot for sale. 368 square meter, five bedrooms, four toilet, and a swimming pool on Tamarind Street. There you go, one bedroom townhouse for rent. Popped out right here. Caribbean dreams, Caribbean dreams. What a cool place. Got a thick looking sister on the uh, sign there. Lovely. All right. But I'm on the hunt for some pork, pork chops. The old lady says she's tired of eating chicken wings. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of eating chicken wings too. But when I go buying them chicken wings, a lot of times I just buy a big bag and fill up the freezer. So if you're out of pork or out of fish or out of whatever, you're going to go to the freezer and you're going to find them chicken wings. That's better than nothing. Let's see what is happening. You know what, I don't need to go this way. I need to go the other way. The other good thing about this little gimbal, it's got a Bluetooth button built on it. That uh, actually works. Push, push the Bluetooth button. It starts recording. It stops recording. All right, Fredo's fine meat deli shop. Well, so I was going to go the other way, 
and I think there's fresh options up here. Hold on, let me recenter the gimbal. That's one thing I hate about gimbals. They always get out of center. And you have to double click the button, which will recenter it. Just another pain in the ass step that you have to take to keep the thing running right. Before I get run over. Grab dude coming wide on the outside. Just past Honeycoe's, that bar next to it. Wasn't no customers out there. A couple beautiful ladies. I didn't want to go the other direction, folks. Sometimes it's better just to eliminate the temptation. I mean, I'm pretty strong these days about not, you know, when I go out on a mission, I accomplish my mission instead of uh, getting sidetracked and disappearing overnight like I've known to do, been known to do. Hello. I'm good about it, why? Because when I go out, all I'm thinking about is, uh, is my baby thinking about Forrest G. Maria Mercedes, thinking about getting back to him. Yeah, I miss wife number two. A little bit. The folks, girlfriends, or wives ain't never stopped me from partying or going out drinking with my buddies. But the kids, they keep me at home. So if I had went the other direction, would have passed by some bars. There's no sense in going that way. Savannah Resort Hotel. We are now accepting repatriated OFWs and other international travelers. In other words, they're doing the quarantine thing. And folks, supposedly, Philippines is, is opening up to tourists. Guess everybody's heard that. You know everybody's excited about that. But here's the thing. They're opening up to tourists on February 10th. But the alert level 3 got extended until at least the 15th for Angeles City, Subic, Zimbalas, Pampanga. You want to know my my advice? I know everybody's chomping at the bit to get over here. But if you've only got two weeks vacation per year or a week vacation per year, I would not come over here now and burn it until some of this shit lightens up. I would wait. Now you run the risk if you do wait. They're locking shit back down. Got it. This place here, you can't trust it. It's like a snake. Everything's going good, then it'll bite you. For no fucking reason. Uh, so if you, if you had to... If you've only got a week vacation or two weeks, I would wait. When? I would wait until at least July. Uh, well, the elections are in May. Once those elections are over, June, July, for me, that's when I would take my vacation and try to come here. I would let them iron out all this bullshit, iron out what they're going to do, because everything's going to be fucked up. That's the way this, this, this place is. It's going to... Everything is gonna be messed up. It's gonna be messed up. So, why take the beach? I wouldn't take the beach on this. Now look, if you're sitting over there retired and your girlfriend's over here, you got nothing else to do. All right, come on over. Come on over and deal with the different alert levels and lockdown bullshit with the rest of us. Come on over, my friend. 
if you think you're gonna come over here for two weeks and fly around the country and visit Boracay and Cebu and do this and do that, hey, every time you get on a flight, it's a PCR test, 100 bucks. Everywhere you go, they're doing their own fucking thing. So that's my advice. My advice would be to wait and just let them iron out some shit. Get off of this stupid ass alert level horse shit that they got going on right now. And not burn your one week out of the year if you're in that category. That's just my advice. They were all set to do this back in December. And then boom, reverse course. In January was, this whole month has been fucked up. And then all of a sudden, hey, we're gonna welcome back tourists. Anyhow, the main purpose of this walk is to test out this gimbal running HDR. There we go. Beautiful little colorful tin wall here to the left side of the aircraft. And you know, when I was thinking about where that fresh options was, I think I just realized it's all the way up near Koreatown. Maybe I should have went the other way. I don't know. You know what? That's what makes life exciting is uh, when you don't know exactly where you're going. That's an adventure. We'll just keep pushing. All right, folks, right there. That's Horizon Tower 1. That's where we used to stay a few years ago. Click, click, recenter the gimbal. Tilt it down a little. Yeah, we stayed in Horizon Tower 1. Beautiful rooftop pool. Had a great stay there. I actually went and checked with them to see what uh, they had available. And the only thing they had available was the unit on the, was it the first floor, third floor, whatever it is, right behind that sign so you don't have a view. But if you're up on that eighth floor, you're overlooking the airport. Damn, see, you hit the wrong button and that, that happens. I'm trying to center it. I'm just not a fan of gimbals. Not a fan. Maybe another year or so if they upgrade their algorithm where I'm not having to fight the thing. But if you want to shoot the HDR, you got to stabilize it somehow. Okay. Jinshu Barbecue House. Havana Doso Bar. Comedy. Something bar. You can come up here at night what's happening at night here. Damn, it's damn gimbal. It wants to point to the left and I'm not pointing it to the left. Hello. Right there, it's just going to the left on its own. Just to give you a look right here. Don Juico Gate. Over the park. And then over here to the left is these here bars that are all broken up. Closed down. Out so the old lipstick. There's the stage. It's 
take a look in here. Man, the action that that old piece of concrete right there is seen. There you go, tilt it down a little. And it's convertible, open air. Anybody wants to come in here and open up an open air resto bar? Trying to make a million dollars in Angeles City. The Guinness Book of World Records is standing by. All right, there you go. No trespassing. I wouldn't trespass. I'm just walking by the front here. Another stage that for years ladies have been dancing on. Now this is that old orange bar. Last time I was in this bar, let me just take a look here. Me and my buddy Doc Wayne popped in here. Shout out to you, man. I ain't seen you in the longest time, brother. There you go. There's a story about this bar, but I ain't gonna tell it right now. Come over here. We don't got the signs up no more. Of course, these bars change names so many times. Hell, you know what to call them. Damn. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm gonna watch where I step. I step on a nail. My goodness. That's, that's a bunch of penicillin shots if you step on a nail right here. Okay. Let's proceed along. No roof. There's only one strand of concertina wire here left. Looks like they even stole all... I don't want to say stole relocated reallocated all the concertina wire but there you go just a beautiful beautiful remnants of the absolute madness caused by fauci and the chinese it weren't for the this is the result let me just let me pan back around there's a couple more here looks like they've already got those uh Plan for them. You see all this fucking mess right here? All this mess and all this loss of, of business, revenue, customer base, um, employment for people. Thanks to the fucking Wuhan Institute of Virology, the Chinese Communist Party, and Fauci and his fucking cronies. You know, this should be a vibrant like it used to be customers people enjoying themselves having a good time this right here i should take a picture of this boom save the picture that right there symbolizes fucking fauci and his goddamn cronies anyhow click click on the gimbal to recenter it doesn't want to go back to exact center what i can do and again i'm spinning the damn thing maybe i just hold it over to the right holding it twisting it to the right still wants to go to the left like it's a magnet I don't want you to go to the left I want you to keep straight hey buddy Clarkton off to the uh, port side of the aircraft here gentleman here out front Hello, gentlemen. How are you? How are you? All right. Clarkton Hotel. Let's see. Let's see if we can get that right there. There's your prices right there. Studio Mountain View to February 15th. Uh, what does that mean? Regular is $27.50 to February 15th to $16.50. Okay, so it looks like February 15th, if I read that correctly. The uh, price is, hey, buddy, hey. <laughs> Shout out to you, buddy. My friend and neighbor. Hope y'all are doing well. So it looks like February 15th, it may be... Uh, 
when the prices are going up now look back in november people told me including the abc hotel people told me that all the prices were going up december one you know because they've had these discounted prices they said december one prices are going up so hey buddy so telling me that on December 1 normal prices going back to normal prices I got it everybody thought the tourists were coming back everything's going back to normal time to get back into black make some money well that didn't happen so when I stopped in the ABC a few weeks ago whenever it was prices were still discounted but seeing that right there I guess everybody now is hitting the target date Probably if February 15th, they're banking on the tourists coming back. Number one. Number two, this level three bullshit lifted, which is supposed to be on the 15th. People are hoping. conclude this part of the video because guess what the other day i walked this same ground so i'm going to take a break let the iphone 12 mini cool down a little bit see y'all in a minute all right so this is not on the gimbal this is on the this is on the uh i don't have any coins son this is not on the gimbal this is just hand hill and i have arrived at my fresh options Honey, you're addicted to watching westerns. Thank you, sweetie. He just throw that out. I know him. He gonna throw it out. Oh yeah, look at them chops. Oh yeah. These pork steaks. Mashing them up, mashing them up, chopping them up, chopping them up. Now it's time to make a mashed potatoes and broccoli. Oh yeah, just evaporate that water off of there, add butter. These are gonna be the best mashed potatoes, garlic, garlic butter mashed potatoes with broccoli that you've ever had in your life. I'm gonna reduce that down. It's gonna be delicious. Look at that, like a cauldron. Gordon Ramsay ain't got my skills, I promise y'all. He ain't never thought about this right here. Stick to it then. Hold on, I said. 
go. Come on, with Big Daddy. There you go. Keep chipping right into the drink. Mm-hmm. My goodness. Let's see what I got going on here. Mm. Oh, don't jump off of there, Dale. To the back. It's like a little musical chairs. Little musical chairs. That's all it's got going on. That's it. That's it. All right. All we gotta do is reduce this down. Add a little bit more butter. I'm gonna put the other cube in there. And this is gonna be some kind of deliciousness. I'm telling you. Broccoli, garlic, mashed potatoes. That's it. Broccoli, garlic, butter, mashed potatoes. There we go. That's mashed potatoes right there. You don't believe me? Mm -mm -mm. Just take a bite of that. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. Can't run with a big dog. Stay on the porch. Mr. Butter, you're coming with me. Go. Oh. Warren Ramsey can't manage an iPhone and wrestle butter. I'm a butter wrestler. I can wrestle butter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Baby, what you laughing at, honey? Huh? Baby, this is going to be the most delicious thing you ever ate in your life. <laughs> Good job, Maria. Let's drop the temp. We'll cut that one off in the middle. I don't want it to burn. This is the outer rim. Honey, can you tell us, are you excited every night to eat my cooking? Where is she? Are you excited? She's always excited. Are you excited? Honey, if yeah. I, if I pay, okay, well, let's, be, let's admit, because if I pay it down and show the thickness, since the first day I met you, you know you love my cooking. Well, folks, I can run it a little bit longer, but I'm not gonna take a chance. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the heat. Kill the heat on that bad boy. That's it. Man, damn, what's going on here? I have a problem. I have a problem with this fucking bow. Oh, there he goes, all right. Old lady must have opened that so much up wide open. Look at this. That is perfect. It's not burnt. It's going to continue to evaporate. Mm, mm, mm. I told her, I said, look, if I had some bacon strips to go on there, I should have put some of that pork in there. Just let it cool down. Now, my temperature is not really up tonight. I didn't put too, too many uh, pieces of charcoal. I put a little small bag, but the tip is not way up. It's, it's a little down tonight. Most of the time when I let her take over though, folks, she burns them. Baby, please don't burn these pork chops. They are at perfection right now. Look at that. I'm recommending they're done, baby. Take them off. Okay. What's done to me? Unless you want to cook in my style. No way. Whoa, baby, don't drop it. And you're addicted to westerns now. That's good. I grew up watching westerns with my grandfather. I turned out all right. Get you some, baby. You're not just eating rice tonight. You're gonna eat the green mashed potatoes. Hi, hi, no fighting. Hey, fighting. babies, no fighting, babies. Horse G, you get over there on your plate because you're always stealing off of Ate's plate. Horse G, you 
Yours G be nice. Look at those pork chops. Look at those broccoli, garlic, butter, mashed potatoes. We'll just call them the green mashed potatoes. Got whack number two over there chopping up some of that delicious pork chop for the babies. That's what I'm working with tonight, folks. My baby eats mama. Yeah, he likes to eat off his mama's plate for some reason. Baby, did you try my green mashed potatoes? Yeah. Are they good or no good? Delicious. Delicious. Yay. All right, folks, here we go. Take a taste of my own medicine. Green mashed taters. That is so delicious. Oh my goodness. Garlic, butter, broccoli, mashed potatoes, or just green mashed potatoes. Mmm. Look at that right there. Oh my goodness.